bringing the people behind our food to life. Figuig glacial is a, a plant that's native to the Canary Islands and it's cultivated a lot in southern France right now. It's a, a favorite among the Michelin star chefs there. It uh, is a type of succulent, so um, it almost looks like it's covered with little ice crystals and that's why it translates to glacier lettuce, Figuig glacial. It grows in arid areas. Um, has a very lemony, citrusy flavor to it and sort of briny and salty at the same time. So chefs typically use this with uh, seafood, of course. Uh, you can use it in salads to brighten things up as well. Later on in the season, it produces a flower uh, and the flower, when it opens up, it looks like a sea anemone. So in Spain, they call it anemona de tierra, which means land anemone. So. I don't know if you can see close in here, but this is at a younger stage when it has uh, larger leaves. When the plant gets older, then we have more structure to it, more of the red coloration uh, on the tips, and then, of course, more of the glistening uh, little ice crystals on there. Lechuga de Ostra, it's oyster leaf lettuce. Um, this actually grows wild in Iceland. It's very difficult to get the seeds for this. And once you get the seeds, the germination is about 2%. So it's uh, tough to get the plant to go. But once it does, it, it actually does uh, produce quite well and it'll produce about uh, 10 months out of the year. We have it shaded right now because it's, uh, yesterday it was over 90 degrees and the plant doesn't like to get that much um, high heat. Uh, but the leaves taste uh, like raw oysters. Uh, the first person that we saw use this was Ferran Adria. And uh, he was serving this as a type of vegan oyster. So it's just the oyster leaf with a gelled uh, mignonet on top. 